it's me again. Guess what? We got another box in the mail. This time it's not invisible shoes, but I wonder what it is. Actually, I know what it is because I ordered it, but hey, it's from our friends at Roadrunner Sports. So let's take a look. Ah, compression socks. No, these are not your grandmother's Ted hose. This is not what they gave you in surgery uh, to make sure you didn't have a venous uh, thrombosis. They're basically sports compression socks. Why are they different? Well, they give even compression starting from about your ankle all the way up to your calf. And I know that you've seen lots of people in triathlons and marathons running around town looking stupid, making a major fashion faux pas with knee socks. But actually, they're becoming quite the rage. So we figured, let's try it out. And of course, I had to share with you. So in the spirit of my run doc, of course, we had to get hot pink. Because if you know me well, you know, got the hot pink bike, got the hot pink racing shoes, got to have the hot pink socks. So let's try them out. Okay, so it turns out that there is quite a bit of research on these compression stocks. Who knew? Um, in 2007, there was a great study that came out that basically showed, hey, you know, they really do stimulate blood flow, so they help in recovery. But in that particular study, they didn't really help people run faster. Hmm. But, of course, that made other people go to the drawing board and see whether or not they could figure it out. And a bunch of research came out in 2009 to today that basically shows that compression socks improve running performance and it focuses basically on the physiological and biomechanical support of the lower legs. What the heck does that mean? Well, it means that they enhance your venous return to your heart so the blood comes back to your heart faster and more efficiently and it leads to increased endurance capacity. In fact, one study showed, and this is a great one, that there's a increase of resting circulation by 30%. So just sitting around in compression stocks you actually get 30% increased circulation. And under physical strain, it increases to 40%. Not so bad. And what that showed is that it can increase your running efficiency by 5%. So 5%, hmm, what would that mean? Well, it means that you can improve a four hour marathon by 12 minutes. Well, heck, that's a Boston qualifier for an old lady my age. So maybe these compression stocks are something we should check out. The one good study I did show, see though, is that a bunch of Germans conducted a study on super, like uber fit, you know, your elite athlete people, and they showed that it really didn't help. So I guess if you're working at your body's maximum efficiency, compression socks don't help. They'll still help you recover, but they're probably not gonna make you faster. But for somebody like you and me, back of the Packers, the not so uber in shape, they're probably gonna really help. So we're gonna go try them out. All right, a good safety tip on compression socks is that they have to fit. Don't do what I did, which is basically order the smallest size that they make, figuring I'm an extra small on everything. And of course, they're pink. So according to the package, my calf circumference has to be between nine and a half and 12 inches. So I got my handy dandy tape measure and I'll flex that killer calf knot. And see, up, oh, out in luck, I'm 11 and a half inches. So I'm good, so these should fit. The other thing is that supposedly they're super tight. So let's see. Oh yeah. Love the pink. Oh, another good safety tip. They're marked left and right and I just put the left on the right. So let's try that again. Ooh, they're hard to get off. Let's try again. Left, L means left. I taught my five-year-old that just the other day. That's nice and snug. Now, interestingly, is they don't seem to compress the foot too much, so I don't think I'm gonna have trouble with like my foot going to sleep by compressing my dorsal nerve, but they're really nice and compressive starting up here and going up the calf. And this feels like a pretty good fit to me. Ooh, look, R means right. So if you have two left feet, you're in trouble. <laughs> I guess they figured that women who have a nine and a half to a 12 inch circumference of a calf also have little feet. Good thing I do. 
Yeah, that feels really good. All right, I feel supercharged already. So I'm gonna go take these for a run. Oh, we need shoes, no barefoot running today. Might rip the socks. statement. I make fun of my father for wearing socks and sandals, so I may have to forgive him for that if I'm going to run around in these. So I'll see you soon. I'm going running. All right, I'm back. And you know what? Not bad. Not bad. They feel real good through here. Got real good calf compression. Definitely the right size. At the beginning, I felt like I was getting squeezed, but then as I warmed up, it felt good. They don't get too hot. They actually breathe pretty well. So I would say if they're going to give me an extra 5% on my marathon time, why not? Now remember, studies show if you're super in shape, if you are that uber athlete, they're probably not going to work for you. They're still good for recovery. But for somebody like me who's just trying to hold on with all my might to be able to finish and get, get our stuff done, why not? Should be interesting to see if I can get them on when I'm wet after getting out of the water in triathlon. So for now, I would say thumbs up to compression socks and let's look at more research because studies show it does work. Boom, ba -dum, boom.